Hey guys, what is up? My name is Sean Result and welcome to my Delphi programming for absolute beginners in FireMonkey course. So in this video, we are just simply going to be looking at how you could name your components and how I am going to be naming my components. So I won't always always be naming my components this way, but um, I will sometimes. Other times I will just simply be leaving them the default names. Okay, so naming components are quite useful, especially in big programs. It just helps to keep your your program neat and to help you remember what each component are used for. Okay, and 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 to add an easy way to basically access them. Okay, so let's start off by um, compiling this application, and you'll notice it's just a simple blank form with nothing on it, as you can see. So let's start off. We always start with, start with a blank form. And the default name for this form is form1, as you can see here. And I will be naming my forms according to what I am going to be doing on it. Usually, the um, the main form or, or the starting form will be called FRM Home. Let's quickly go to an app which I made. Um, Delphi Programming Helper. Okay, it's busy opening. Okay, for instance, this form you see here will be called FRM Home. If we go to Color Picker, then this form will be called FRM Color Picker. Settings will be called FRM Settings, and About will be called FRM About. So that's how I will be naming my forms, and you can name your forms um, the same way as well. So, let's continue. So... Yes, I'll be naming this form as for FRM Home. Also note that, that there are a difference between name and caption. So name in the form is what the form's name is and, and how you can access it. While caption is what stands in the title. For instance, we can there type... Um, let's actually give it this name. So we can give... That's it. So when you compile now, you'll instantly see that the caption of the form is what stands in the title. So it stands there. Okay, so let's go and add a component such, such as a button. So let's say this button's purpose is to change the um, color of the form. Okay, then I will usually usually give this button a caption or a text such as um, "Click me to change form color," and then the name. I will make something such as as such as btn um, change color. Okay, and then sometimes I will give my um, events a name such as um, change form color, and then it will create this uh, procedure for me, and we can write the code inside of here. Other times I will just simply Use the default name by just double clicking on a button and then the name will be well that okay and here i can simply go ahead and write the code such as fr oh okay now it's not form one anymore because we changed the name to frm home so now we're selecting it by frm home dot full dot color colon equals t alpha colors dot let's make the form aqua or alpha FRM home dot full dot kind and we just make the kind as T brush solid okay let's compile quickly okay it's all for even that color let's just make it aqua okay aqua aqua is that bluish color Okay, yes. Um, so for instance, how, 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 I will be naming my, naming my, how I will be naming my components is I will be taking a component, a component such, as, such as a panel and then I will um, make, make the name shorter. So I will, for instance, make this uh, with the name PNL, which stands for panel and then just say something, for instance. Um, and edit will be, for instance, an edit or, or a label will be LBL. So, for instance, LBL 
something. So yes, guys, so that's basically it. Um, this video will ju just simply show you how I name my components um, in Delphi and how, and how you could name your components as well. So, yes, guys, if you have any other way um, how, how, you, how you usually name your components, you're welcome to tell me down in the comments how you name yours and other people can look at it and maybe start using your way as well. So, yes. Thank you for watching this video. If this video helped you in any way, then, not, then don't forget to leave a thumbs up on this video and subscribe for more videos. Also, you can go and check out my social media accounts here on the left side of the screen and you can go and follow me on my social, on my social media accounts. And yes, guys, so that's basically it. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.